so <clears throat> I'm just learning that uh, basically all of Israel is like it's it's Israel's not a country it's it's more of like a US state an extra state that was never named a a, a state to to the United States but at the same time it's like a cult compound and everyone in it is just being brainwashed from when they're little tiny little children they don't even have actual logic over there they don't have knowledge of like <clears throat> the word genocide they don't even know what that means they don't even know what it means they don't know the definition anytime you try and talk to anyone from israel the the first thing you get is do you love israel do you love israel fuck no no one loves israel anymore like you guys turned into fucking nazis why would anyone fucking love israel or support Israel. Like the fact that fucking people. People outside Israel that are supporting Israel. And what they're doing. Are just fascist fucking Nazis. They're just fucking people that just are warmongers. That's all they want is fucking war. That's all they care about is killing people and making profit off from it. They don't give a shit about the actual people that die. Now another thing that I've been noticing is uh all the fucking children that speak out in Israel are brainwashed so bad they they all repeat the same fucking bullshit they all lie about what happened on October 7th and when you tell them that it wasn't even Hamas that killed their fucking people that day that it was IDF soldiers some of them accept it and say yeah and that's reason to kill thousands of fucking people in, in Gaza. And then some of them, like, will, they don't accept that at all. Like, they don't believe that at all. And if you say anything besides you love Israel, they just fuck you instantly. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Like, or, or, or some of them, which are, like, young... Even some of the, the younger adults, they'll instantly say, fuck you, I want to kill you. Like, Israelis are proving that they are the fucking true monsters here. All they care about is killing innocent fucking people. And if you try and tell them that, they completely try and fucking, like, stop you and ignore you. If you try and tell them the history of where they live, they won't accept it. They don't even have history or geography in their fucking country or state, I should say. Their made-up country. Where they are is Palestine. The land is Palestine. The, they have a compound called Israel. They are a cult fucking group of Zionist freaks... And they are all being lied to. And they are the most racist fucking people I've ever fucking seen. Like, they will literally, if they see someone that's uh, Arabic or Islam or, what you know, whatever. Anything that is not uh, Jewish, they will literally just throw hate. Or instantly, do you support Israel? Israel or Palestine? How is this even an option? How how is how is their sides? Do you support death? Do you support killing babies? No. Okay, well then I guess you are against what Israel is doing. <clears throat> they keep bringing back the seventh. Oh, they did all these atrocities. Every single atrocity down to the last fucking bit. Even the rape was all fucking lies. All lies. Hamas went in there. There was a four, uh, fifty-five percent uh, soldiers were killed, and then there was a forty forty-five percent forty forty-five percent that was uh, Israeli citizens that were just killed 
by their own fucking people, by the IDF. So, and, and then they tried to blame it on, on fucking Hamas. Like, Hamas literally said what they were doing. They had it planned out for over a year, and Israel knew about it. They wanted to go in. They wanted to grab people, especially soldiers. It's hard to grab them if they're fighting back, so sometimes they have to fucking kill them. That's just how it fucking is. That's war. Soldiers fight between each other. That's war. It is terrorism when civilians are involved, when they start killing civilians. Now, from all the information that I've gone through, one child was accidentally killed by a Hamas soldier. They even, they admitted it, and they were fucking apologetic about it. But do you see any of the Israelis apologizing for kidnapping all kinds of Palestinians, thousands of Palestinians, putting them in prison for life for no reason, breaking their arms, torturing them, beating them, humiliating them. See, the whole reason why Hamas did this and a lot of Gaza is just like, they're caught in the crossfire, but at the same time, they're not, they're not going to back down. They're, they're not, they're tired of running from their land, from their home. They're tired of being pushed out. They want to, if they, they've literally said, if they're going to die, they want to die with dignity. They're not going to die running away from their own land, from their own homes. And all the atrocities that you keep hearing Hamas did that day are literally just projections of the, the, the kindest things that Israel does to Palestinians. The kindest things. What does that fucking tell you? Did you know that Israel will arrest uh, Palestinians and then if they are like, if they're dead or blown up, they will take their body or body parts and they will literally uh, put it into a freezer and it will, their dead body will serve out the rest of their sentence. So the family of that dead body doesn't even get a burial. They don't even get to say goodbye to their loved ones or, or see their loved ones at all until Israel is done with their sentencing. Their, their fucking stupid non-court uh, sentences that they give them. They just randomly, oh, well, you threw a rock, so you get life in jail. And we're going to break your arms. And probably uh, humi humiliate you and, uh, you know, do all sorts of crazy shit to you. <sighs> they keep saying that Israel did nothing to deserve this. A lot of people are saying you can't uh, say Hamas are the good guys. You can't say they're freedom fighters. You can't say that there's any side deserving of this or this or that. Yet, 75 years of occupation and... All the shit that Israel's have done to the Palestinians. After all that time, you can't tell me that them standing up and fighting back and trying to survive against Nazi Israel. I'm going to say Nazi Israel from now on because that is literally what they are. They are the closest things to Nazis that we have ever seen, even more Nazi than the people that we see in America waving around fucking Nazi flags. They put Nazis in America to shame. That's how bad Israel is. They are fucking monsters. The shit that they do. And I have never seen a country or a group of people, I should say, because Israel is not a country. Uh, I've never seen a group of people so obsessed with their own, like, their own flag, their own country flag, quotations there, uh, they are worse than Americans, and they are worse than Trump supporters. Like, these pe Israelis will literally walk around with flags and ask people, do you love Israel? Do you love Israel? Please love Israel. Please love us. We're only committing genocide, but please love us. Everybody hates us. Like, fucking nut jobs. They are brainwashed so fucking bad. And the only ones that are actually breaking out of that brainwash are like ex 
uh, IDF soldiers because of the atrocities that they had to see and commit. Wow, just blew their fucking minds. And literally, some of them have actually turned to uh, turn their religion from Jewish to Islam. Like, just mind blowing how they they find some of them finally noticed it like finally broke that fucking uh brainwashed fucking brain of theirs and they could finally see what they were doing wrong like it blows my mind that israel thinks that they need to be so pure like like nazis how they want to be so pure no other bloodlines only nazis it's the same thing with israel they go to the extreme of having a, a cum squad. They will go out there and jerk off the fucking dead bodies of Israel soldiers to get their semen to then bring it back to that person's family, the dead person's family, so their genes, their, their bloodline can go on. Fucking nuts and disgusting. Like, Israelis are fucking... I, I've I've never felt this way about a group of people before. And I am Native American. I hate fucking white people and I'm a white person myself. Like it is disgusting what the white people did to the Native Americans. But I wasn't alive at that time. So now that I am like, you know, alive and seeing a genocide in front of my eyes, uh it hits differently. It it really hits differently. It's it's like seeing uh what could have happened or what did happen in the past to your ancestors, to my ancestors. But, you know, it's Nazi Israel fucking killing innocent fucking babies and innocent civilians. Lying about everything they do. You know how they target certain buildings? Now, everyone was confused. Oh, how do you know there's Hamas in that building? How do you know there's Hamas over there? They never shoot. They never show themselves. Mo most to all of them are down in the fucking tunnels. So how do they come up with, oh, there's Hamas in these buildings. We need to blow them up. They use AI generated fucking bullshit. The AI tells them, oh, there, there might be a Hamas person in that building. We'll create an AI person in that building for you to blow up like it's a fucking video game. And then once you blow up that building, boom, target has been uh destroyed like they are not even this isn't war this is a genocide and they are playing video games this is how easy genocide is for them it's like a video game and from what i hear anytime they actually send in troops the fucking troops are just dancing on the dead bodies the dead graves not the bodies the dead graves they're just piles of rubble they'll put up their fucking stupid israel fucking flag and they're playing music and dancing on the rubble. You know what's under those under those piles of rubble? Civilians that are either dead or dying and dead babies. You guys complained about all these fake fucking claims about babies being killed on the 7th, yet you guys have turned around and killed uh 10 times more babies, innocent babies. Who is the real fucking monsters here? Who is who is the real monsters? Hamas had, did not kill any fucking children. They accidentally killed one. You guys fucking lied about everything. Your helicopter and fucking tank that you had come flying in and fucking just attacking all the citizens at that music festival that you keep saying Hamas shot all those people. It was Israelis that killed those people. Like... You guys are so fucking brainwashed, you don't even see how stupid you sound when anyone tries to talk to you. You go, oh, do you love Israel? Israel? You might as well fucking say, do you love Nazis? Do you love Hitler? Do you love Nazi Germany? Say those same exact words, you will get the same response as when you say, do you love Israel? Same fucking thing. The, the thing that's really mind-blowing is Israel, Israelis, they had a genocide upon them. They ran to a whole different place. America and the the British set up uh, 
a deal with Palestinians and said, hey, can you let these people in? They're under a Holocaust. They need somewhere to go. The Palestinians were nice enough to let them live there, to share their land with them. And then the Israels, Israelis turn around and just literally pick up all of the Hitler talking points, all of the fascist bullshit. They literally have a terrorist in their government, in charge of their government. He's a known terrorist, but they don't care because everyone else is terrorist to them. These, these people are fucking insane. And they've admitted to their crimes, and they've admitted that they want to commit genocide on their own fucking... on their own TV, on their own platforms. But no one, no one wants to listen. Yeah, that's how I feel about it, too.